It's Thursday, February 14th, 2008. I'm James Kotecki, and this is Playbook TV. It's Valentine's Day. I love you, Emily. And also, can this video count as my card? The biggest political story right now is Hillary Clinton's fight to stay alive. The New York Times reports that among the strategies the Clinton campaign might use to boost her delegate counts, perhaps the most controversial would be to encourage the seating of Michigan and Florida delegates. Those states have been stripped of their delegates for now because they held their primaries too early, primaries that favored Hillary Clinton. I'm sure the Democrats are looking forward to brutally fighting over this issue. I mean, why wait till the general election to get beat in Florida when you can just destroy yourselves there before there's a nominee? Next, Roger Clemens, that great player of America's game, came under fire yesterday in perhaps the most American way of all, being forced to testify in front of a congressional committee about alleged steroid use. Politico's Ryan Grimm reports that while Democrats hammered away at Clemens, Republicans went after his accuser, Brian McNamee. The story received huge media attention. You know that something has gone horribly wrong in the American system when ESPN is covering something usually left to C-SPAN. Finally, this Valentine's Day, what could be more appropriate than a Larry Craig story? The toe-tapping Idaho senator has bubbled up to the surface of the national consciousness yet again after being officially admonished by the Senate Ethics Committee over the small matter of gay sex solicitation in a public bathroom. In practical terms, the letter is akin to a slap on the wrist, but the committee did say that they accept his original guilty plea, and they believe his attempt to withdraw said plea now is just an attempt to avoid the legal consequences of his actions. The committee also criticized Craig for failing to tell them that he'd used over $200,000 in campaign funds to pay his legal fees. I'm sure that proud Idaho conservatives are also a bit surprised to learn that while they thought they were giving money to advance Republican causes in the Senate, they were really advancing a lengthy discussion on the true nature of the wide stance. Well, that's it for today's hit. Check out politico.com slash playbook for more stories, including a House vote to authorize criminal proceedings against top White House aides. And don't worry, this video doesn't really count as my card. I was only joking. Right here on Playbook TV.